Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. I started to edit these photos of John Romanello. He is a very strong guy, former fitness model, very big in the fitness industry, personal trainer, everything along those lines, all around awesome guy. Um, I started to edit these photos that I took of him after a workout that I worked out with him on, uh, so I took some photos while I was there. I started to edit them and then realized I might as well go through the process of how I'm editing these photos and and what, I, um, what I'm doing. Uh, so you can see what I start with, that I capture the image right to begin with, and then how I tweak it and work the raw file to make it an awesome image. So let's just move through it quickly. First things first, I know this is going to be a black and white. It's going to be awesome that way, and I'm going to pump up my contrast. I l look at that. Look how much it changed. We go from from that to just by taking out the 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 saturation and color or saturation vibrance and then go boom. Look at that. Look at that. Look how tight that is right away. I can see that there's nice contrast. It's an it just made this image a hell of a lot better. I like that. Let's move, you know, and I have my general sharpening moving on. I think I I'm going to leave this one in color just for the fun of it. Because, uh, you know, it this one could work in color. I'm just going to pull back on the yellow. Contrast a little bit. A little bit of clarity. It's maybe a little too blue now. There we go. That's more natural the way it was. If you see, I'm right here in the corner. Nice shirt, by the way. So here we go. More black and white because black and white just works so well in this type of environment for candid type images. Look how tight that is. Just a few little tweaks. You can see what I'm doing. Just a few little tweaks and that picture solid. I don't that's too far. I mean it's just really close to being exposed properly. You know, see where we start, see where we finish. Yeah, it's a little dark on his face. There's not the you know some shadow. You could try fill light, but I don't like fill light. Look 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 what it does to your images. You know, I don't mind the contrast in his face. You know, it's hard to see because he is in a shadow area, but you get the point of what's going on. I even want, I want more, I want thicker blacks than this in terms of my photo. All right, next one. Now I recomposed. Look how I composed it here. I, rule of thirds, moved him more over to the side. I didn't mean to do that. So take out that. We're going to make it black and white. Look at that. Look at the contrast. Look how it just makes your image pop. Pump up my black levels a little bit, my blacks a little bit. Clarity button, if you move it down, it takes away the sharpening around the edges of an object. If you move it up, it overdoes it. So this is something that you don't want to overdo. It makes it nice and smooth, sometimes in weddings. Now, John's not getting married, so it doesn't really matter. I don't need to make him look all glowy. Just a little fisheye shot, same thing. This is a little dark, but I'm just going to brighten it up slightly. And then I'm off to the next one. This was just cool. This is going to be a cool black and white. And wait till we zoom in on it. I go all the way up in my contrast. It's just me. That's how I like my files. Now, you may not like your files that way. And it comes down to what you like, of course, when you're processing your files. This is your art form. Like I said before, I am not the gospel. Though I like you to uh, try what I say, at least. So here. Let's zoom in on it. Look look how tight sharpening. 70 to 200 VR version 2. Awesome, tight, filled the frame. Again, none of this is cropped. I repeat, no cropping. Now what I'm going to do here, being that I have shots that are very similar to this in a row, I'm going to tighten it up first. His face is going to be a little darker in this one because you can see the shadow from the freaking 70-pound weights that he's pushing. All right, so there we go. What am I going to do? One, two, three. The next four shots, I'm going to select and I'm going to sync them with the first shot, and then go in and tweak them. Because if they're similar, you're better. You know, it's better off to do that syncing and then come back. But again, all raw files have to be tweaked. Don't forget that. Even though they're similar, there's still little tweaks that can be done, like tightening up my black levels. It's just pulling back slightly on this one. And I'm going to pump up the blacks again a little bit. There we go. And then here's just a tighter shot. You see how tight? Look at look at this focus right on his eye. Look at that. Look at the depth. Look at the change now. Look how, look how that brings it out. I know this is going to be a long video, but you're going to get the point. I'm not going to go through all 70-some shots. 
So I'll go through a few more. I'm just going to pop this all the way down. See how this is a little, you know, washed out, but I'm shooting in a uh, manual and I got my settings right, 4,000 ISO, 1 200th of a second at 3.2. If I didn't do that, it would have exposed for the windows, and this is what would have happened to the picture. See how outside's nice and exposed? And the and in here it's bad? That's bad. That's, if I, that's what would have happened if I let the camera pick. But I didn't, so this is what I'm left with. But check out how I can bring it back. Look, look what I'm bringing, look what I'm doing to this photo. Tightening it up. Tightening it up, tightening it up, boom! You could never have done that in, in in aperture priority or you know letting in auto letting the camera pick the setting. So there you go. That's an awesome shot. And I'll just cycle through the other shots I took before I even make the uh, corrections, just to show you angles that I was getting. I mean, he he's lifting a hell of a lot of weight here, and this is just incredible. So we only had about ten minutes to shoot. So I, I went through a couple lenses. I like the earlier shots. The candids are great. But then, you know, then you have that. So I hope that helps. I wanted to keep this short. But just that last thing about the exposure and the windows, I will go into total explanations about that stuff with the super secret D3000 project. Catch you later. Bye.